Assalamu alaikum YouTube viewers. The topic of today's video is scintillator. So what are scintillators? Scintillator is actually a method to measure the radioactivity. Okay, so what do we do in scintillator? Actually, a scintillator is a substance which emits a small flash of light when struck by a fast charge particle. So scintillator, what is scintillator? Scintillator is actually a substance that emits flash of light, that emits a flashlight when struck by a fast charge particle. Okay, so solid scintillators are particularly suited for the detection of gamma rays. So solid scintillators are usually used for the detection of gamma rays. Why the solid scintillators, scintillators are used? Because solid scintillators have high density and they have high atomic number. And as you know that the gamma rays have high penetration. So that's why solid scintillators are used for the detection of the gamma rays. Okay. So some alkali halide in particular sodium iodide have been the most useful. So actually sodium iodide that is activated by TI is usually used as a scintillator. So when a gamma photon is partially or totally absorbed in the scintillation crystal, at least one fast electron is liberated. Okay, this electron can be a photoelectron, can be compound electron or pair pair product pair production electron. Okay. So now as you can see here, what we have here is a radioactive source and the radiations are being emitted from this radioactive source and are being absorbed by this NAI. This NAI activated with TI, TL is actually a scintillator. Okay. So moving back, the electron causes ionization and excitation along its path in the crystal. Okay, so when was the electron emitted? When the gamma rays falls on the scintillator, when the gamma rays falls on the scintillator, electron is emitted and this electron causes ionization or excitation along its path in the crystal. When the excited atom return to the ground state, what do they do? They emit light photons. They emit light photons. And the number of these light photons is proportional to the gamma photon energy that is absorbed by the crystal. Okay. So, in the so-called photomultiplier tube, so now I'm going to explain this with the diagram. As you can see here, what we have is this PMT. This is the photomultiplier tube. Okay. So, moving back. In the so-called photomultiplier tube, a photosensitive layer or photocathode is optically coupled to the scintillation crystal. So, we have a PMT here and it is attached to this photocathode as you can see here we have a photocathode okay and the next thing the which is coupled to the scintillation crystal and this cathode this cathode is further attached to this scintillation crystal and at the end what we have is when the light flash is produced in the crystal causes the electrons to be liberated from the photocathode okay so okay so when this radioactive material will emit the gamma radiation this gamma radiation will fall on the scintillator and what happens the gamma radiation will release the electrons from the atoms of the scintillator and this electron will excite all the atoms along its path and when these excited atoms will come back to their ground state they will release the flash of light okay let me repeat it again so what happens here when our radioactive source releases the gamma rays, these gamma rays will, uh, will interact with the scintillator and will produce the electron. And the electron that is produced inside the scintillator will excite the other atoms. And when these excited atoms come back to their ground state, what happens? They release the flash of light. Okay. And these flash of light will cause the photodiode to emit electrons. Okay. And the electrons that are released by photocathode will be attracted by the dinodes. Okay, so we will have a number of dinodes in series in the PMT. Okay, these number of these dinodes are actually positively charged and they will attract the incoming electron. Okay, so what happens here is the photoelectron released from the photocathode surface will be attracted to the first dinode and then will gain the sufficient kinetic energy to release several secondary electrons from the surface. Okay, so when the electron from the photocathode, when the electron from the pho photocathode reaches this photodinode, this dinode, it will produce some secondary electron and similarly when it reaches the next dinode, it will produce more electron and similarly when it, when it reaches the next dinode, it will produce more electrons and at the end of the tube, at the end of PMT, we will have a number of electrons at the end. Okay. So the size of the pulse, the size of this pulse of electron will be proportional to the original gamma ray energy absorbed in the crystal. Okay, so now these, all of these electrons will produce a pulse at the end and the size of the pulse, okay, the size of the pulse 
of the electrons will be proportional to the original gamma ray energy absorbed by the crystal okay so that was the scintillator detector scintillation detector so inshallah see you in the next video do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel